I watched an interview today with Lou DiBella and Lou DiBella I wasn't sure if he was still in Team Wilder or not up until about a month or so ago but he's no longer in Team Wilder and he basically said in this interview that the main reason why he's no longer in Team Wilder why he was fired basically is because he tried to get Deontay Wilder the Anthony Joshua fight and tried to get it on the zone with the 120 million dollar offer so essentially him as a promoter was fired for getting his fighter the best deal possible that yeah that's exactly what i'm saying so getting crazy money the undisputed fight which he wanted for getting potentially getting that fight done potentially be, getting the deal put in place to get that fight done he gets fired i mean that just doesn't make any sense to me that's just bizarre you hear we've heard stories over the last few weeks about you know al Heyman and the sway he has over his fighters you know we've heard charlo you know say that i think it was a jamal or jamel say that you know they would have took a fight but you know stuff with al Heyman didn't happen you know with manny robles i think it wasn't actually manny robles i think it was uh, andy ruiz's father who said that you know al Heyman kind of you know associated with the split between manny robles and andy ruiz I think you might have heard something else as well. Oh, yeah, the, I think, Canelo fight that potentially, because Oscar De La Hoya said it, not Charlo. The Canelo fight that was potentially offered to Charlo being turned down. I mean, it's it's extremely strange, you know, when you hear all these kind of things. And this is another one as well. I mean, like, you're talking about the biggest payday by God knows how much of your career. The undisputed fight. A fight that I think Deontay Wilder would win you know against Anthony Joshua personally and your promoter is getting that put in place and you fire him you know if you look at that in a regular job kind of context that would be like me if I was running the company hiring someone to do you know I don't know the accounts and them getting my accounts in perfect balance you know accounts perfect money coming in looking better than it's ever looked before and then I go and I fire that person and I just hire, you know, blind man Bob down the road to do the accounts. That's essentially what it's like. Similar to that. You know, madness. Absolute madness. If this is 100% true and Lou Bell is not making it up, that's absolute. There's no, there's no explaining that. There's no justification for that. You know, there really truly isn't. I mean, it, it, that's fucking, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucking crazy if you're firing Lou Bella over that I mean the guy is getting you a great deal a fight that you could definitely win big money and you fire that's fucked up <laughs> you know, that's fucked up yeah so quick little video those are my thoughts on this uh, let me know what you think down below you know I really don't know what to make of it let me know what you think down below I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe of course if you are new and as always I will talk to you after